Okay, so this is starting to get interesting because we're getting involved in some real actuarial maths. So let's answer this question. Suppose the interest rate the interest rate quoted for one year deposit is ten percent. With all interest paid on maturity, what is the equivalent nominal annual interest rate convertible monthly and convertible monthly? It's just comp uh, sorry convertible monthly and all that means is just compounded monthly so convertible shouldn't really scare you though it is a scary word okay so let's just find out what would happen if we decided to take let's say some amount a thousand dollars and we're going to multiply it uh, we're going to multiply it by some interest amount let's say 10 percent as we've got over here and it's we're going to compound it once because it's, it's uh, going to be yearly this can be the annual rate and so this is going to come to a total of $1,100. <clears throat> okay, so very very straightforward. Now, now the question is asking us, what is the nominal annual interest rate? So let's look at it like this. Let's take our $1,000 again. Let's get it itself. So multiply it by 1. And then let's add on some interest amount, which we'll divide by 12. So it'll be a monthly amount, an effective monthly amount. And we'll compound it 12 times for it to give us that same amount that 10% annual rate compounded annually would have given us. So now we just need to know what is this i over here. Okay, so uh, let's just use the algebra that we learned in grade 5 and try and figure it out. So let's divide both sides by 1000. So I'll just keep writing down a whole lot of steps. 1 plus i on 12 to the 12th equals 1100 zero, zero, over 1000, that equals 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, then we're going to get rid of this to the power of 12. So what we do is we um, power both sides to uh, 1 on 12. So this case is going to be i on 12, and it's going to be 12 over 12, which is 1, and that's going to equal 1100 over 1000 all to the power of 1 on 12 then what we can do is we can minus 1 to both sides so we get i on 12 equals 1100 zero, zero, over 1 with 3 zeros to the power of a 12th minus 1 and finally we've got to multiply 12 on both sides so we're going to get this rate that we want here is going to be this formula right here. Okay, 1 on 12 minus 1, and it's that entire thing times 12. And we'll be able to generalize after we've done this. So let's get a calculator out and figure this one out. And I still haven't solved a problem with the calculator yet, so I'm sorry about that. So 1,100 um, 1, divided by 1,000 is going to be 1.1. 1 .1. Then we can do that to the power of. Oh, sorry, I've stuffed it up. 1.1 1 .1 to the power of 1 on 12 minus 1 times 12. And that's going to give us this answer. 9.57%. Okay. 9.57%. So that's what this total amount is. I equals this. And I'll write it the way I said it. 9.57%. Okay, so this is a nominal annual amount. So this is the answer to the question, the nominal annual interest rate compounded or convertible monthly. So let's just look at this formula and just see what it gives us. So what it gave us, 1,100 over 1,000 was 1 1.1, which is the same as 1 plus the initial i that we were given, 10%. Then we do to the power of 1 on, let's say p, the amount of times that it can be comp compounded or convertible, or minus 1, that's fairly standard, and then we'll multiply it by this amount, p, and so lots of times, and that is going to give us this rate over here. So this is i being the nominal annual amount, uh, interest rate, com convertible, Really bad handwriting. Heathly. 
and in the case that we did, we did monthly. So this became 12, this became 12. This was the rate we started with 10%, and so it got us 9.57%. Okay, easy.